In this movie we will describe the creation and editing of run lines in the guidance editor. Click that new to add a new pattern to the run line file. A selection can be made for different types of run line patterns. Select line to add a run line pattern from a line. The coordinates could be entered numerical by the coordinate edit box. Enter the coordinates and click add. Click the XY button to change from grid into geographical coordinates, or vice versa. Different formats could be selected. Just click into plan view to draw a line graphically. Right click when finished. Grippers appear at the pattern. Click and hold this gray colored gripper to change the line segment length and position. Drag the gripper to move the line segment. This could be done for all the line segments. Drag the individual line segment grippers to move the line segment. Click and hold this pink colored gripper to change the length of the parallel lines. Drag the gripper to change the length. You can do the same from the other side. Click and hold this green gripper to change the position of the cross lines pattern. Drag the gripper to change the position. or from the other side. Click and hold this green gripper to change the length of the cross lines. Drag the gripper to change the length. Same for the other side. Click and hold this red gripper to change the number of parallel lines. Drag to change the number of parallel lines. Same for the other side. Click and hold this small red gripper to change the line spacing of the parallel lines. Drag to change the line spacing. Click and hold this small green gripper to change the line spacing of the cross lines. Drag the gripper to change the line spacing. Click and hold in the pattern to change the position of the whole pattern. Drag the mouse to move the pattern. All this graphical changes could also done on a numerical way in this paint. The coordinates of the line segment are here displayed. When clicked on a line segment gripper the position of this will be indicated by an associated highlighted easting box. So when clicked on a different line segment gripper a different easting box is highlighted. Click the parallel check box to disable or enable the parallel lines. In this field the length of the parallel lines could be numerical edited. Click the Apply Settings button when changed. Click this fields to numerical edit the parallel line pattern width. Click the Apply Settings button again when changed. Click and edit this fields to numerical change the line spacing of the parallel lines. Notice you can change the left side and the right side of the pattern. Click the Apply Settings button again. Click the cross check box to disable or enable the cross line pattern. 
Clip this fields to numerical edit the cross line length. Clip the apply settings button when changed. Clip this fields to numerical change the cross line pattern width. Note you can change the left side and the right side. Clip the apply settings button when changed. Clip this field to numerical change the line spacing of the cross lines. Clip the apply settings button when changed. To enable annotation clip the layer properties icon. In the appeared window scroll to the run line layer settings by the scroll bar. Clip that annotation of this front line's editing layer settings. Now tick the annotation enabled check box. And click OK. The annotation is added in the pattern. The annotation could be edited as well in the pane. Clip this field to change the start number of the parallel lines. Clip the Apply Settings button when changed. Left and right side of the parallel lines could be changed. Clip this field to change the right side start number. And click Apply Settings button again. Click Interval field to change the interval. Apply settings. Same for the cross lines. Clip the start number field to change the start number. Apply settings. Or change the interval in this field. Apply settings. As can be seen annotation is changed. It is also possible to add layers to the view. Click for this at the layer control icon. Click in the appeared window add. A list with layers which could be added is listed. Like DXF chart layer, grip model layer, etc. Click DXF chart layer and click OK. Now a DXF chart could be added. Select it from the list. The DXF must be in the project otherwise it is not listed. Click OK when selected. And OK again to close the window. It might be necessary to click the zoom extents icon to see your added DXF chart. We see now our chart. Click zoom in icon to zoom in or use the scroll wheel of the mouse. Click for the pan function the pen icon. Click in the view. Now move the mouse and you will scroll through your view. Click pan icon again to disable pan function. With the layer properties it is possible to enable the scroll function when the cursor hovers over the edge of the view. Click the layer properties icon. Scroll with the scroll bar in the appeared window to the view layer settings. Clip the no scroll at view edges field. And untick the check box. Click OK. Now when the cursor hovers over the view edge the view will scroll in the edge direction as can be seen. It is easy to add different patterns to the run line file. Click new. In the drop down list, clip the pattern to add. For example, a semil parallel pattern. Add this pattern at the required location. The pattern is added in the run line file.
This is also indicated in the panes pattern list. Now two patterns are shown in this list. Teledyne Resson. Everywhere you look.